the usual food court. This is where you have spent so many afternoons going over the case with everyone. Just sitting here brings back a lot of memories. What a coincidence! It must be destiny! Ah! So you guys came here too! It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow. But I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! You know what? That sounds good with me. Will you shut up about your steak? Hey, I want steak too! You reminisce with the others over steak. Steak, 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 steak. I really had fun in this world. Holy shit, she is sitting next to me again. The game knows. The game finally knows. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. But I gotta say. I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her, too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh. I wonder how it started, then. Indeed. How did the rumor start? Maybe someone accidentally came across it. The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. Exactly. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Amino something monster say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability. So that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Mm-hmm. Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait. Then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? Mm-hmm. What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Exactly. And there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, senpai? You're the only exception. You had the power to enter TVs before your persona awakened. And the same goes for Adachi and Namatame. You remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave. A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. The sender is listed as... Adachi. Huh? This is... from jail? 
It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town, before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. The letter from Adachi ends there. Hmm. It's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The midnight channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. You mean somebody that's not Amino Sagiri? So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, it, is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? It, it's seriously just something that popped into my head. Shia, you are far smarter than even you think you are. Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? The power to enter TVs. Girl, everything about this case started. You learned about the Midnight Channel from Shie a few days after coming to town when she told you the rumor. But Adachi and Namatame heard about the Midnight Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, you feel as if something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. There is something. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey. This scheme, could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us, the culprits, and maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although... You may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Who could have given you the initial spark for this power? The one you met immediately after coming to town was... In any case, you need to see them and confirm the truth. Go into town. Who was the person that I saw immediately after arriving into town? Dojima is not the one I first saw when entering town. 
I saw him first at the train station, but not at town. Person you met first? When was the first time? Huh? What's up? Are you behind all this? <laughs> I can't believe I actually have to run around and talk to people when I already know who it is. Are you behind all this? Did you give me the power? <laughs> Imagine going around town asking random people, hey, are you behind everything? Did you give me this awesome power to enter TVs? Jima and Nanako are not home. The Flood Plain. Where is this person? Kind of interesting that it went from sunny to cloudy. There's Dojima. Hey. Oh, Kagado. Have you already finished seeing your friends? I want to talk with you. Yeah? Oh, what's this all of a sudden? You asked a team about the first day you arrived in town. What's wrong? The day you first came to town? Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure me and Nanako left home that afternoon and picked you up and came straight home. <laughs> now I think about it. Uh, back at that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh, a lot's happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, big bro? On that... on the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station! I used the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to that weird attendant. The gas station? Yeah, when I first met you, I remember the gas attendant before he was weird. Hmm. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before we went home, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah, come to think of it, I never saw that guy again. It wasn't really the attendant that looked weird. But after you talked to him, you look sick, big bro. I look sick? Um, don't you remember? I asked on the way home, are you car sick? You said you were okay, but that attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. I didn't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised that you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is there something going on with the attendant? Do you know him? It might be important. I see. I, uh, well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Wait for me. Yeah. Okay! First place you stopped when you came to town was the gas station. Maybe something there will jog your memory. Remember, the gas station on sunny days is empty, but during the rain, that gas station attendant was standing outside. It's time we really find out the truth. Gas station tenant? I've only seen an older man and an older woman working there. What's up? Are you behind all this? Sorry to bother you, but wh where's the gas station attendant? I 
can't go in? Okay. What is this madness? Why can't I enter? Okay, maybe I gotta go to Junis. There's no need to be here. Okay, going to town. A floodplain, maybe? <laughs> Starting to get confused. Yasogami High. <laughs> There's no need to be here. Okay, well, um I am now very confused. It's just the central shopping district and the Dojima residence, so I'll just try the Dojima residence right now. Make sure I rule out every other place. No need to be here. Okay, well. Going to town, yep. Okay. No need to be anywhere except for the central shopping district. Nothing's available. Maybe the velvet room? Oh, I can't enter the velvet room. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Aha! How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? There's one last thing. Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. You know, Igor, I can just tell you, but okay. You can do your whole mind reading thing. <gasps> ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power. Allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. I could have just told you. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Obtain the Orb of Sight. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous. It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began. It began raining. And now we know that if it starts to rain, who is there to show up? 
Let's finish this once and for all. Uh, hi there. Do you need something? Isn't this where I first... First? What are you talking about? Oh, is this about the part-time job? I'm sorry, we don't have that opening yet. Do you know Namatame? Ah, that serial murder suspect. A real tragedy, wasn't it? But the case was solved right, thank goodness. Something else I can help you with? Did those two come here? Well, that's a weird question to ask. I don't know if it was right here, but I might have met them before. I've been in this town for a long time, so yeah, there's a good chance. But it's not like I knew them personally. If you've got nothing else, you mind leaving me alone? Oh, you still need something? <laughs> hey, I asked you to leave me alone. Did you miss that? Did you do anything to them? Huh? To those two? Ah, that's right. I remember now. I think I met them when they first came into town. So I greeted them saying, Welcome to Inaba. But that's all. Just that. <laughs> what about it? What did you do to me? What did I... What did I do? Don't you remember? I met you here when you first came to town and did the same thing as what I did to those two. I greeted you, that's all. Remember? We talked for a couple of minutes. Hey, mind if I ask you something? Why all these questions? Is there something that's bothering you about the time when we first met? Yes, there is. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! You've reached me at last. <laughs> Let's drop the charade. To be quite honest, I was waiting for you to come. Adachi, Namatame, and you. It is I who awakened that power within you three. The ones who had potential. But having said that, I am rather surprised. So the last battle wasn't enough for you? He has certainly have the powers I was expecting. What do you mean? I saw the potential you had within you. Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still... I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Indeed. I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like this. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. My controller vibrated. Just like before. You felt an extreme dizziness. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? To end everything. The fog has lifted, and you still are not content? Why such greed? 
I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. I am Izunami. Amino Sagiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. And now, you face me with it. I can no longer ignore the situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. The one you just encountered was the entity behind everything. Her name is Izanami. You can hear your friend's voice in the distance. Hey, are you alright? Who is that you were just talking to? Oh, by the way, before I continue... Remember when I said that there was a very important thing that was going to happen during the school trip over to Port Island when Mr. Edagawa was telling us that story about Izanami and Izanagi? And I said, this is important for later in the game. You should pay attention. Well, if you didn't pay attention, now's the time to stop, go back to that video, watch that part again, and come back. Otherwise... Now you know that what I said was true. There was a much bigger part to this. Did she just disappear? W wait, don't tell me. You told th your gathered friends what happened between you and the gas station attendant. So, it wasn't over after all. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor? And she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. No, okay, the others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell them this is really gonna close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. For really, really realsies this time! We swear! How many times have we thought the case is closed? Let's see. When the Peeping Tom was captured, when Mitsuo was captured, when Namatame was captured, when Adachi was captured, oh, and now it's Izanami! <laughs> oh boy. So many red herrings. Alright, then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness. You have finally discovered the true cause of everything that happened. You must defeat this Izanami who waits for you in that other world. If Izanami truly gave birth to Amano Sagiri, then as long as Izanami is left alone, the town will definitely fall into the fog again some day. And if that were to happen, everyone, all of those precious to you, would become mere shadows. This is the most important task you have faced, and it must be taken care of before leaving town. You must ensure complete peace for this town where you've lived with everyone. To Juno's. All right. This is finally it. So many things have happened up until now, but now we'll beat this Izanami and put an end to this. Right? Yes, but since we were so spread out all over town until a moment ago, let's go over what happened. This is the last measure that must be taken. We need to make sure what we did in the end... Bah, we need to make sure that we end this properly. Enter the TV. All right, let's go. The 
This is it. It's a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced. And it seems like a new area has formed. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me. That Amino something we beat said stuff like, We'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It's kind of sad that this really is going to be the last time we do something like this. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives, there were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right! All for one and one for all! So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. This is for our future! So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell, Teddy? Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic, it makes my skin crawl. Damn! Teddy finally got back at Yosuke. Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. <laughs> Never mind. No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. <laughs> Well then, let's do this! No social link go on that one. So this will be the last time I help you catch the bad guy. Sensei, good luck! Alright, I'm gonna start preparing myself. I gotta hit, uh, hit some of the shops. Um... I can actually leave and go to the shops immediately uh, because I can't go around town. There's no extra days. Today is it. So it's like um, return to the shop. So let's see who is taking me there. The club, the ominous bedroom. Be the end for sure. Search for Izanami. Okay. So guys, I'm going to cut off recording here. Next time will be the end. The real end.